Hi folks, in this video we've got a coarser sea here which the handbrake cable is gone so we don't know where it is let's try and locate where the problem lies and let's try and rectify it see you in a minute Right, quite a common problem with these is um, the handbrake cable can go and we need to find out exactly where the cables broke and obviously change the cable accordingly. So we're going to take a look now and get, we've got the car up in the air at the moment so I've taken both wheels off so that we can see what we're actually doing and we're going to get underneath and we're going to look exactly where it's broke and then change the cable. Now again I don't know what model you've got but this is a 1.2 and uh, this just literally pulls up and slips over and as you can see there this is the handbrake adjuster nut there, as you can see. And it looks like that there's obviously a lot of play in that. So we're gonna have to get underneath the car and have a look. And um, let's have a quick run through of the uh, handbrake mechanism when we're underneath to see what's actually involved. I've come down to this rear wheel here now. And as you can see the cable here, there's a little clip there. And there's a short cable that goes into the back of the actual drum itself. So this is a little short cable. In our case, this one is okay. So we have to open up this clip here and there's a little cable slot there for the cable, to, which is all for the cable to run in, which is all full of earth and dirt and stuff. So we're gonna be t cleaning that out as well, obviously. But to prise these apart is a matter of getting some sort of screwdriver in there, opening it up and then you can actually take the little lug out there as you can see. And let's go over to the other wheel and have a look over there. Right, coming to the other back wheel now. Again, same setup here. A little stubby cable there, as you can see, going to the actual rear drum. That looks okay. And then you've got the same mechanism here, going through a slot. Now, as you can see here, where the cable actually goes round this one, can you see where that cable's frayed there as well? Look. Now, that's obviously not the problem because the cable's still intact. But this is a point you want to note if you're just going to change part of your handbrake cable. There may be other parts of your handbrake cable which are uh, damaged as well so it's probably best to change all this down to here uh, right through to up to the handbrake so let's go underneath the car now right as you can see I've got the car on axle stands on the uh, the main beam going across the car there and I've also got a trolley jack still underneath as a matter of precaution as well so both of them cables come along the top of that beam there's no insulation on them by the way and they go into a connector there there's the other one from the other side as you can see so there's some sort of connector here and then you've got one cable if I come down you can probably see it in them clips there and another one a bit further up there and then you've got some sort of heat shield further up there on the uh, just covering the exhaust so we may have to take that off but that's the two clips off of there now so I'm just going to actually go to the wheels now, open up them spray, them, them connectors there, what I showed you a minute ago, and undo the cable. Right, here's one of those clips. Um, I've got a pair of pliers here as well, a pair of grips. Now maybe if I had two pairs of grips, I could hold that and then splay it open to get us out of there. If I get that screwdriver in there first. on them cables like that just pull the cable through a bit there we go just just ease it back a bit and it's come out straight away as you can see there so that's got to just be teased out of that cable there there we go and as you can probably see there can you see that cable was actually damaged as well Look, it's all frayed there so it's prudent just to do one half of the cable. You might as well do the whole lot. So that's that one out. We'll clean all these runners up as well. So I'm just going to zoom around the other side and do that now. There we go. It's rusted through there on one side. So maybe I can just pull that down enough. Right, so it's just by levering that down by one side, that, that dirt shield there, you can actually gain access to the whole thing there. As you can probably see there if I shine that torch up there. There's the whole cable there, so um, there's another clip there, obviously, I can see. 
and then it goes up into the actual handbrake uh, mechanism so it's a matter of taking that nut off, uh, nut off above through the handbrake so let's go and do that now here's the handbrake lever so I've just pulled that rubber bung off of there we've got to undo this nut which will be a tight nut because it's a nylock by the looks of it right so that's the nut off now that as you can see goes through a sleeve and so maybe if I lay that down it will then have a straight pull all the way back so I'm going underneath the car now and I'm going to try and pull that out all right so there's a little boot cover there which I've got to pull off we've got this little bit to come out there and then hopefully Gary's at the top there maybe I can feed that cable through can you feed it through again? No. Try lift the handle up again. Oh, no. No? Right, well the problem we've got is that we can't feed that cable around there. Maybe you've got to take the handbrake out, but looking at here, what we've got is another one of these connectors here if you can probably see there and our cable obviously connects onto here right so the problem we've got is that we can't actually fish the cable through this bend here so we're going to try and just undo these two front nuts there and that will give us a bit of lift up there maybe it'll give us enough lift to um to be able to pull this cable the straight part of this cable around this bend so let me go and get the uh, socket and we'll do that yeah yeah, so we've, we, that's not worked, so what we've got to do is obviously undo the two back ones, which are under that ashtray there, which I've just taken out. So you've got to undo these and all. Now on the side here we've got the um, switch for the handbrake so if, if you're lifting that make sure you put that cable back on. Now as you can see there we were able to lift that oh, right up in the air there now. Um, right so basically what we've done we've undone the four screws that hold that on but what you've also got is two extra screws which hold the bracket the handbrake bracket to the external center console here so you've actually got to take these out as well so i'm hoping that we can lift this up enough to be able to get a screwdriver from this side of either side of the seats a is it a torch it would be a torch wouldn't it so we've got to undo as you can probably see there there we go so you've actually got to take these two torx bits out either side as well that will separate the handbrake mechanism from the base and give us the space we need to be able to disconnect that so that's what we're gonna have to do now there we go so we can separate that top of the cowl in now there we go there we go let's come out of there now and that comes out of there remember your root of your cable All right right so here's our cable now that went up to the handbrake so this is the bit that went slack so we was this broken in any way that's not broken is it it's not broken both ends of them as you can see are frayed but they're not actually broken or is it broken off in the drum the actual cable itself isn't broken so I can only assume now that one of the connectors at the actual drum which we can't see yet until we take the drums off is actually broken but pulling that cable there both of them cables there are fine although they did need changing or this end cables definitely needed changing both of these cables definitely needed changing because they was all framed there so it's something we had to do but this isn't our problem now what we've got to do is to go one step further and take the actual drums off now and find out which one of the cables is given away inside the drum I would imagine so let's do that now right so this is the new cable we've got as you can see this one is a straight one 
that goes up to our front connector. Now, technically speaking, we could have perhaps undone this connector from underneath, but to get in there, it's very, very tight, so you're probably best to take it all out anyway. So we've got to prise that apart. That's the bit that goes up to the actual uh, handbrake mechanism, as you know. So that's the cable going from there to there, which our one, as you know, is frayed, so it had to be changed anyway. And then you've got this metal part which retains, and you've got this new cable which obviously sits in there as well, and that goes to the other rear wheel uh, clip, which as you can see, that one was frayed as well. So these two cables definitely need the change in anyway. Right, okay, then let's start with this wheel. This is the first wheel we took off. So this is our little short cable here. Oh, oh hello. There we go, look, we just found it straight away. That's just pulled straight out of that clip. Now we haven't got these short bits, so now we're gonna have to quickly order these cables. This is obviously the one. Now I'm not only gonna change one of these, I'm gonna change the both of them anyway, so we'll have to get back to you on this. We're gonna have to go and get these little short cables anyway, so we'll see you shortly. Right, okay then, it's the next day now, and I had to go to Lincoln to get these uh, end cables at the drum sections. Right, let me just show you what these are. Right, so this is one, as you buy them, um, I got these from Euro Car Parts, and this is the bit that actually goes inside the drum, and this is the bit that hooks onto your rear cable um, with this little metal clip. They supply you with a new metal clip, and as you can see, they just sort of sit in there, and then you obviously just squeeze them together to hold them in place, and that's where the other cable actually comes in. So fitting these is gonna be pretty simple, I hope. Just gotta take the drum off, and then this end obviously locates on the uh, lever inside the actual drum itself. So let's go outside now and let's go and fit these. Right, now, apparently these coarser C drums coming off the backs can be a right pain to get off, as, as you would expect. And what you have to do, apparently, there's a, a, a cover here, which you have to take off. That reveals the big centre hub nut, which is 27 mil. You've got to undo that, take the nut off, and then somehow you've got to pull this off. Now, there can be various reasons for this staying on. It could be tight on the bearing. It could be that the handbrake cable's been left on, but that's not our case. So we first of all got to prise out this little cover and let's try and start this procedure of getting these rear drums off. It could be easy, could be hard. I don't know yet. This is what you may come up against. all the dust in there look there you go you don't want to be breathing that in look see look tip it down there put that to one side right okay then that come off pretty well we've got plenty of meat on our pad so I'm quite happy with that everything seems dry in here this has obviously been off before look someone's uh, copper slipped that's copper slip grease on there which has obviously helped in it coming off I would imagine so that's a good thing and that's where the cable comes in from the handbrake under this little clip there as you can see and it hooks onto the arm there so I'm going to pull this out now and unhook it from there and obviously try and get my new cable in on here is a, a metal clip which we've got to prise up to get that out. So put a screwdriver in there and just see where I'm lifting it up, look. There we go, that little clip's come out, that little C clip. Get that out of there. Keep that to one side, because we haven't got a new one of them. And that should then, hopefully, push out. There we go, and that's the back, that's what you're seeing at the back there, so. Our new one, as you can see, has got the same uh, little slot in it for that clip to go back on. 
So just sort of clean around that area. Because you know you're going to be putting a new clip in. There we go. That's going to come in from the back of the cable. Like that. And there's that slot there. I don't know if you can see that, that new slot. And we're going to put our clip back over that. There we go. There we go. Just push it into place like that. Look. I've come up for coming from above. That's it. So that's that bit in. And now hopefully, just hook that back under. Then like that by levering it out a little bit. Like that. And getting the spring back in its clip underneath there. There we go. Right, well I've heard loads of people online say that that can be a right pain in the arse to do that job. So that's just the way that I've done it, that's what I've come up against. If yours is stuck on the hub then you've basically got to, again, pull that drum off. What some people do is to put the wheel back on loosely with the hub nuts and pull on the actual wheel to give you more sort of leverage sort of thing. So if yours didn't come off like mine come off, you could try putting the wheel back on, just doing it up a couple of turns on each of the wheel nuts and then pull in the actual wheel to try and draw the hub off. So that's just another way you can try it. Right, so we've cleaned our drum out now. We're just going to um, put the drum back in place. Get it on straight. And then replace our 27 mil nut. Right, and this nut wants to be done up at 129 foot pounds. So I've set the torque wrench up to that. Can you hear the click? That's 129 foot pounds. Back on. Well, here's our old cable, and on our old cable, we've got this sort of bracket which we've got to um, remove and use that on our new cable because our new cable, as you can see, goes straight through there like that. And this one here again attaches via this little end collar here, and these are held in by these rubber grommets here. So just slide them off like that. Again, if you're a bit dubious about where it all goes back together, just take a picture on your phone or something. So let's pull that one off there. Like that. Slide this one off the back way. That comes right away off the end of the cable there. So they're both the same. So all we've got now, basically, is the same sort of setup where you have to open up these metal channels here a little bit so that you can actually unclip these flanges that are there so easier said than done obviously I would imagine just like these clips I would imagine that Vauxhall have probably got some sort of tool they slide over where they clamp and it just sort of splays these open because the way we're doing it with a screwdriver and a pair of grips is 
just to do it yourself way basically but uh, that's the only way I've got available so that's what I'm gonna have to do again with this hopefully so bear with me on this one I'll try the twisting method first wedging a screwdriver in and uh, maybe get two screwdrivers one either side and then open it up that way there we go that's opening it up needs to be a bit more but that seems to work cross over a pair of screwdrivers in the holes that are already there and then just when you push up together that opens up there we go that's just dropped out look so that's the first one out so I'm going to put that back in and then close that together again with the pliers I would imagine that if you had this done in a garage they may renew these I would imagine I don't know but uh, again we've got to make do with what we've got all right, so that's the first one in and I'm then going to slide that rubber over the end of our cable put that back on in place you can see that at all let's get it closer for you look so you just slide that rubber back over until it's in place like that and that's what you hopefully should end up with something like that So I'm going to do the same now to this one. Again, not probably the best way of doing it, but get one in either side and then just spread it open. Look, that's probably a good way of doing it. Look, let me just show you that. Get it in the back there and then just sort of spread it open. And that then, if I turn it over, you can see, look, we're able to remove that screwdriver. And then get that one out as well and that's what you're left with there see and there we go that's back on let's go and put this back on the car oh here's one thing for you i nearly forgot it and you might nearly forget it as well if you're doing the whole cable like i'm doing don't forget to take off the old end bit the bit that goes up to your handbrake that's the bit with a threaded bar on where the, it connects underneath the um the uh exhaust tunnel as you know so don't forget to take that off and to put that on your new cable so in total it's not four bits that you've got to this complete uh, cable system including this little bit here it's actually five parts of cable that you've got which could possibly be damaged which you really need to find out first before you actually go ahead and do this job because it could be any one of those five bits so I'm doing everything so at least you know that way that the whole job's been done because older cables will probably be frayed and there's a chance that if you put a new bit on another bit's going to go as well so let's just get this off and put this on the new cable as well right here's one thing to be aware of as well i don't know if you can see that or not right your cable before you poke it through your bodywork make sure that you get the thinner part of the cable through that clip first look so that the cable sits in this thing here and then you can proceed to feed it through your handbrake i can't do this with, with you watching because i've only got one hand i need a torch here and you really could do with two people someone else inside the car uh where you, when you feed the handbrake in so that's what i'm going to do now anyway so i'll see you in a minute
There you go, you really gotta make sure you give that a good pull when you get that last one in and also that your handbrake nut is right on the very end thread in the actual car itself. So just make sure that, and there we go. So I'm just gonna go underneath now, make sure the cable's located correctly. And one thing, just to make sure, that's the cable route by the way, look. So from under that shield, everything's in place. Clips back into the clip up there, one up there. Runs across the back of the axle, as you can see there, as it should do. And the only thing I'm going to have to do is take this 10mm nut out there. This is actually worn through, as you can probably see there. And get a bigger washer. And just to put hold that on there to hold the heat shield back up. And that will sort that job out. Right, so I'm back inside the car now. As I said, I just left that nut on because you don't you want to make sure that you don't let that slide down, otherwise you might have troubles getting that back on. Now as I say, I'm looking for five clicks. So I'm just gonna wind this up now until I get five clicks on the handbrake and hopefully that should be it. So Oh yeah yeah. Right, there's six clicks out. So how can you, you just see if you can spin that back drum. Turn the wheel. No, 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 I've got the camera. Yeah, just, is it turning? No, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Spinning? Ready? Ready. Spinning easy? Yeah, yeah. Now? Stuck. Off, again? Yep. On? Yeah. I couldn't do it without Sharon. Okay, <laughs> now. There we go. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six clicks. Perfect. Handbrake now repaired. Put the cover on. Whack the wheels back on. Job done. There we go. Job done. As I say, first things first, if your handbrake cable does go on one of these, it could be one of five different places. So it's best to get the back up of the car up in the air, take away the heat shield. First thing to do first, take your rear wheels off and give them cables, them little short ones, a little pull from the drum. If it comes straight out, you know where your problem is. And also check that the other cables aren't frayed as well. Otherwise, you might as well just change the whole lot like we have on this one. And if your drums are stuck on and you can't tap them off the way I did, put the wheel, put the wheel back on with the nuts on loosely and try pulling on the wheel to get the wheel off. That might help you get the drum off as well. Also, make sure that your handbrake is off if you're doing that, by the way. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was some help to you. We didn't come up against too many problems on this apart from ordering the wrong parts, but we needed to have all them parts anyway. Ours was the little cables at the end, but the other ones were afraid, so we changed the whole lot anyway. Anyway, thanks very much. See you in the next video, and until then, bye for now.